Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Bioshock. I'm very excited about this game for a couple of reasons. It, obviously, it's not a direct sequel. The universe and setting and plot are all different, but they managed to throw the word shock into the title, which is probably the most direct clue that this is as close as they could get to a new System Shock game, given the licensing snafu anyone would get into actually trying to make System Shock 3. It's a fantastic game. Another reason I'm excited is because I got to boost the graphics to full. When I originally played this, it was on a much crummier computer, so I'm very excited to be doing this. I think this is a fantastic game. Probably not quite as good as System Shock 1 and 2, just because... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. It's just, frankly, it's a little easier. I guess that's probably the thing that bothers me the most. The PS3 version, of course, has the Survivor difficulty, which might go a long way toward ameliorating that, but that's not available on the PC version. Also, I know you're used to me playing for all the achievements, but uh, for this game, at least, achievements are only available on the Xbox 360 itself. I don't... the Steam version hasn't been updated and, you know, merged with Xbox Live like other Windows games have to add an achievement system, so we'll just be playing, but I will, as usual, play for maximum completion, and I will do my best to make it as difficult as possible. So let's take a tour through the options before I get started. Graphics options first. I've boosted the resolution to max, obviously I'm playing full screen, vertical sync on, shadow maps on, high detail post-processing on, high detail shaders on, real-time reflection on, distortion on, force global lighting off. I don't even know what that does, but it was off by default. Uh, DirectX 10 detail surfaces on, horizontal FOV lock on, graphics quality high, actor detail high, texture detail high, and I'm just at the default brightness level, which is, I think, should be fine. Adjust the brightness slider until the dark gray box is just barely visible. Uh, yeah, that's too dark. That's too dark. There we go. That's better. Yeah, we'll darken it a little from the default. Get a little more atmosphere. Okay, let's look at the controls next. Uh, mouse sensitivity is 3 by default. I've cranked it to 5. I may need to crank it even higher than that. We'll find out. Invert look off. And I'm not using a 360 controller, so obviously there's no vibration. Uh, key customization. Move forward, WSAD. Or move forward and backward, WS. Strafe left, right, AD. Jump space. Crouch, I put on F. Walk is shift. Turn left, turn right, left and right, look up, look down, page up, page down. Equipment 1, weapon and plasmid selection, mouse wheel, reload R. Next ammo Q, previous ammo B, zoom C. Weapon 1 through 8 are number keys 1 through 8. Equipment 2, fire left mouse button, switch between weapons and plasmids, right mouse button. I didn't feel the need to have switch to and fire weapon or switch to and fire plasmid. Uh, Next, next and previous weapon in plasmid is mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down. And plasmid 1 through 6 are, is F1 through 6. For miscellaneous, hack is V, use is E, first aid is T, newest unread diary is U. I've changed a few of these things. I changed first aid and I uh, changed uh, newest unread diary to U just to mirror uh, System Shock 2, what I'm used to pushing. Uh, hints H, maps, map goals, messages help M. Quick save, quick load, F8, F9, harvest gatherer, H, rescue gatherer, L, pause game, P, search again, R. We will be using quick save and quick load a lot. <coughs> audio options. Audio mode stereo, reverb on, creative EAX audio off, sound effect volume 10, music volume 10, voiceover volume 10, and gameplay options. I'm going to set it to hard when I actually start a new game. I can't move the slider right here. I'll leave on adaptive training just so you guys can hear all of Atlas's messages as I'm playing. Dialogue subtitles on, art subtitles on, quest arrow off, item shimmer off, usable object highlight off, and here's the big one, disable Vita Chamber on. Gonna play hardcore, not gonna use the regenerators, which, you know, is kind of why we're going to need lots of quick saving and lots of quick loading. 
But with all that said, I will be going as usual for maximum completion. Since there are no achievements here, that'll basically just mean fully exploring all of the maps and making sure I find everything. So, new game, select a difficulty. Easy, you're new to shooters. Medium, you've played other shooters. Hard, you've played a lot of shooters. That's, I don't know, it's a little deceptive if you ask me. This game is much more complicated and involved than your typical shooter. But it calls itself a shooter, and, you know, if it, that's the way it wants to market itself, that's fine. Let's play on hard. Bioshock. You know that 9 out of 10 ladies prefer the athletic man? Advertisement. Sport Boost Gene Tonic. 1960 Mid-Atlantic. They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. To Jack with love, mom and dad, which you kindly not open until it was really all we could see. Bioshock. Oh, this game is so good. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm sorry it took me so long to start, but I've been at home for Thanksgiving, visiting family, just got back. So, I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving as well. Obviously our plane crashed, we're alive and just came to in the ocean. And believe it or not, the game has started. You can see a piece of the airplane here. We're surrounded by fire. <clears throat> Our only real option is to start swimming between the mess of fire, the only directions we can go. As you can see, the fire is kind of corralling our progress and sending us toward the lighthouse. There's the tail segment of the plane, slowly sinking. Now, it should be fairly obvious, the lighthouse is really the only place to go. But we can... We can try to swim around it if you want. I've actually... I'm not sure if I've ever done that or not. So I think I'll do it now. I don't think there's anything here, but it pays to be thorough, if you ask me. <laughs> this is the only time we'll see open air until the end of the game, so... Oh, this is just an alternate stairway. Enjoy that. Clouds aren't particularly realistic looking, but I do love the lighthouse. <coughs> Tail's almost completely submerged now. Probably will be by the time we get to the lighthouse. <coughs> and you can't submerge. Yep. Tail's gone. Yeah, you can't make... You can't make him dive. Our name is Jack. Alright, let's check out the staircase. Nothing on the other side either. So let's head inside. This awesome looking building. R. Alright, with the door closed behind us, we cannot leave. Propaganda. We can't read what that particular banner says. Here we have an imposing statue and no gods or kings, only man. Why is it putting up those highlights? Oh, yeah. Art subtitles. Okay, I do like that. We'll keep, we'll keep that. 
You see here, we have no money. This is something we haven't really discovered yet. It's called Atom. You can think of it like cyber modules or experience points. That's what we use to upgrade ourselves. In what country is there a place for, for people like me, Andrew Ryan? That's an instrumental version of Beyond the Sea by Bobby Darin. I adore the soundtrack to this game. I should say. Art. Industry. Science. There's that R again. Let's hop into this submersible. Bathosphere level lever. Okay, now what is this? That's very clearly highlighted. But I clearly have all object highlighting off. I guess it's not working. Oh well. Let's pull it. Fontaine Corporation. Stand by, stop, slow, half, full. Those are our options. Down we go. Say goodbye to the surface. Ten fathoms. Service radio. Eighteen fathoms. Fire at your fingertips. Incinerate. Plasmids by Ryan Industries. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. The artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Just a spectacular intro, if you ask me. Welcome to Rapture. You can save your game at any time from the options menu.
we're in control now, and if you ask, oh, we can't save yet. Guess I need to advance until I can save at least. We're at the bathysphere station. We have no active goal, and we already have a full map of this area. That's kind of crazy too. I prefer zoomed out for my map. No goals, no messages. Help. Notes. <clears throat> hey, look at all this. Firing your weapon. Press... It's not unbound, it's left mouse, to fire your current weapon. This will also automatically reload your weapon if it's empty and you have more ammo of the current type, using your active plasmid. While in plasmid mode, press unbound, right mouse, to use your current ability, changing your weapon. Use mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down to change your current weapon. Press P to temporarily pause the game and bring up a menu where you can select from all of your weapons and ammunition. Changing your plasmid abilities. Use mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down to change your current ability. Press P to temporarily pause the game, or no, I'm sorry, press mouse wheel to temporarily pause the game and bring up a menu where you can select from all of your plasmids. Damage types. Different types of ammunition are effective against different opponents. Using the correct ammo for an enemy will kill them faster, and will leave you with more ammunition at the end of the fight. For example, armor-piercing bullets do more damage to metal opponents, like security cameras and turrets. Research. You can research enemies and gain a variety of bonuses by using the research camera. The camera is equipped and used like a weapon, and takes film as ammunition. Better quality pictures advance your research more. Keep your subject well-centered and at a pleasing distance. Quality is also increased for action shots and pictures with multiple subjects. Pictures are worth less if the subject is dead or you're taking multiple photos of the same creature. Each type of enemy has a unique set of bonuses. Research as many as you can. Security System Security System Overview when a security camera emits a bright cone of white light, it has caught a glimpse of you and is trying to focus on you. If you stay in its field of view for a few seconds, it will see you clearly and sound an alarm. If you duck out of sight before the light turns red, the camera will soon return to its unalerted state. While the alarm is on, security bots will seek you out and try to kill you. Alarms typically last for a while, but can be manually turned off at a security shutdown panel. If you shut off the system at a shutdown panel, the bots go dormant and can then be hacked. When the alarm ends, any active security bots fly away. Cameras can be destroyed with your weapons. Armor-piercing or electrical attacks are most effective. The security bullseye plasmid can turn security cameras to your advantage, so you may want to think twice about destroying them. Security systems are localized within relatively small regions. Security camera. Security cameras are the eyes of the security system. If you are spotted by a security camera and stay in its field of vision for a few seconds, it will sound an alarm and summon security bots to attack. If you successfully hack a security camera, it will ignore you and start looking for enemies. If an enemy stays in its field of vision for long enough, the alarm will sound and security bots will come to attack it. Security bots. Security bots are the muscle of the security system. When an alarm sounds, they will go to the location where the camera last saw you. You can hide from them, but cameras will tell them where you are if you are seen again during an active alarm. If you cancel an alarm early with a security shutdown panel, the bot is instantly shut down and goes into a dormant state. When dormant, bots can be hacked. If you successfully hack a dormant security bot, it will reactivate and follow you around, helping fight your enemies. Hacked security bots will not attack your enemies unprovoked, but will join in attacking any target you yourself have attacked. Turrets. Security turrets are gun emplacements that protect areas of rapture. They will attack you on site regardless of whether a security alarm is sounding. Turrets can be hacked when they are unaware of you, or when shocked or frozen. When you successfully hack a turret, it will thereafter ignore you and attack your enemies instead. Hacking security. Hacking a security camera or a turret makes it react to other creatures as intruders. It will no longer care about you. Hacking a security bot makes it an ally, which will then follow you around and attack your enemies. Awesome. Okay, I think that's everything we have here so far. So let's pick up the radio. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. Take a deep breath and step 
step out of the bus there. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. New goal, get to higher ground. A survivor of the city named Atlas has contacted you over the radio. He has advised you to get to higher ground. It might be wise to listen. Is there anything else? Goals, get to higher ground. Rate messages. Radio messages. Atlas, moved, leave the bathysphere. Atlas, move to higher ground. Alright. Any, any, anything new in here? No. The only thing I don't like is that I'm going to have to keep checking this a lot because it doesn't specify when it gets updated. Door, there's a compass on the ground. We're going to need to draw her out of hiding, but you're going to have to trust me. Atlas, draw her out. Much like the emails we received from Polito and Shodan in System Shock 2. Can I save yet? Yes, I can. Alright. We'll rock a quick save right here. We'll rock a manual save, too. And we'll call that the first video. The intro sequence was called Bioshock. Next time, we will play the first level, Welcome to Rapture. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.